Hi YouTube, it's me Tifo Wilderness. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the second of this month's Korean toy reviews. Where today I have got an animal carbot to show you. <laughs> yeah, so uh, from Hello Carbot uh, season 11 or the uh, Hello Carbot Samba season, you have uh, you know your figures like you know like this and like this, and they have the uh, the Samba gimmick where the uh, a chunk of the alt mode comes off and turns into a chunk which you then attach to the figure and it uh, gives it a power up and it can also turn into a, an animal in itself. That's the main gimmick of this toy line. However, they have added to it additionally two extra characters, two animal car bots. I mean, I've already reviewed one of them. I've already reviewed Eagle Hider and now I've got the other one. So today I'm going to be reviewing Bear Hider. Now, probably going to struggle with this one because it's it's made out of white plastic. My uh, my lights are probably going to are going to wash it out. But um, anyway, so uh, bear hider is a uh, turns into a polar bear. And uh, before we get into that, let's have a quick look at the packaging and all that stuff. So here's the box. As you can see, bear hider, polar bear, robot mode. Hello, carbots, Chatan. Pictures on the side, and then on the back, it's got Bear Hider and Eagle Hider, who I've already reviewed. Large box, it's got the uh, the cardboard runner inside, and, and getting this guy packed into his cardboard runner is quite... Well, once you've taken it out, getting it back in again is a bit of a pain, to be honest. Um, you get a set of uh, instructions, you get the little chip... That goes into the uh, you know the activator watch, which when you plug it in, it makes lights, lights and sounds, and does voice clips from the show, all in Korean. And you get Mr. Bear Hider himself. Now, as you can see, he transforms into a polar bear, and a pretty pretty successful looking polar bear. I mean, um, you know, look at it from the side. And it looks like a polar bear. I mean, yeah, it's got a little bit of a few panel lines in it where it uh, you know separates to form the robot mode. When you look at it from the front, it's got this uh, this bit of a, a gap here under under the chin of the um, the bear. But apart from that, there's there's not much in the way of robot you know kibble sticking out. So it's fairly successful. It is a complete and utter brick, however. There's no articulation on the legs whatsoever. Now, some people might complain about that. You know, because, you know, you get some Transformers fans, you know, truck, not monkey, you know, they're, they're not really a fan of, you know, animal formers or beast formers. And uh, when they get a beast former, they get really disappointed that the beast mode hasn't got any articulation. It's You, you do get some, um, you know, beast bots that have articulation, but in the Hello Carbot toy line, they, they, they tend to transform into immobile bricks, as was proved in the... Um, the animal car bots that came out for the, the second movie, Secret of Omphalus Island, where you had that, that lion, you had the shark, and you had the, the buffalo. Oh, and the mammoth as well. Don't forget the mammoth. Uh, and they transformed into you know, static beasts, but you know they had you know, pretty good uh, robot modes. Well, some of them did anyway. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this guy is another animal car bot. Uh, turns into a uh, polar bear. And uh, it's fairly heavy pretty chunky um, now it's as you can see it's got a decent amount of you know sort of molded fur detail on it so it, it's uh, quite a good looking you know animal in that regard again you know the panel lines aren't too egregious on it they're not too bad and apart from that little gap under here um, haven't really got much in the way of uh, you know robot kibble sticking out has got an opening jaw, but it's a it's a little loose on mine. It's got some uh, painted claws, uh, and it's molded in a kind of a, like a like a creamy sort of yellowish um, white plastic. It's not not a shocking white, even though you know, my lights are probably you know saturating it. But if I bring it in closer, you can see that it's a uh, it's a slightly lighter. Well, it's, just, no, it's, it's, it's not quite, you know, bright white. It's more of a, a, a you know, sort of like a, a dirty white. But then again, you know, polar bears out in the wild, they get mucky, you know. They're not they're not completely white, are they? And then they go for a swim and then they come out and then they're camouflaged against the snow. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, alt mode. It's a brick of a polar bear. Pretty cool. Um, 
pegs to go together rather well. Yeah, okay, you've got the um, a bit of parts forming with this guy. But uh, but apart from that, it's all right. Not much more you can say about it. Doesn't really do anything. <laughs> it's an immobile creature, you know. It, it just it's, you know, it's got no articulation whatsoever apart from apart from he's got like a, a little moving jaw, which as I've showed you is kind of loose. Um, right. So transformation. So basically, you just break. It, it, it's a shell former, obviously. Uh, you you break it open to expose. The robot bits so you uh, you can first of all you can remove the parts forming pieces from underneath well there's one of them it's one of his uh, claws for robot mode then you can pull the side panel out and then sort of hinge it forwards then you can fold these wings out Get these these panels here and fold them in like so same on this side fold that panel fold that panel then you can rotate them around and leave them there for now then the legs so you, you can take the other parts forming piece out put that off to one side so now Unfold the legs, split them, straighten them out, and then do they, cl they clip in, don't they? I'm sure they do. There we go. Right, so they clip in, and then the feet, just fold the feet up, and then bring the arms down, twizzle the paws around to form fists, and then finally fold the head down so that it covers the top of his robot mode head, like a, like a helmet or a hat. And there we have Bear Hider in his robot mode. Now, it looks pretty cool. Obviously, now that he's transformed, you've got a lot more, you know, what you've got his robot bits showing, including his, you know, his chest and his waist, his thighs, little bits on his shins, and uh, obviously his head. But the, uh, the vast majority of his, um, you know, robot mode is still hidden by animal kibble. Like... His forearms are made up about the uh, the legs. A lot of a great greater mass of the uh, you know the the hind quarters of the uh, the bear become his uh, his legs, and you've only got a little bit of shin detail. And obviously, he's got his uh, knees are uh, no white, no plastic and fur. And then you've got the shoulders, which are the uh, the, the the shoulder sections of the bear, which are just folded over to form you know, the pauldrons on the shoulders. And then the head just just you know pops on top of the head um so yeah you can obviously tell what he transforms into in robot mode <laughs> and because of the way the the shell forms around his robot mode it's it does restrict his articulation slightly um i have to say and he has got some unusual joints and posing him is not the greatest um but articulation, um, unfortunately, because the that folds over his head, he has got an immobile head. It does not move, so he's got no head rotation. Which for a carbot figure is a bit of a bit of a, a mark down, because usually carbot figures always have articulated heads. Towbot figures, on the other hand, are known for having frozen head joints, but uh, this is a, an unusual case. Now, the one thing I will say, this thing about the the head coming down over the robot mode's head is, is very similar to the gimmick used in the Samba line because I've got um, I've got uh, Nighthopper here and you've got Nighthopper's head there which is you know has got a head rotation but then when in Samba mode the head of the robot you know, the Samba animal folds forward 
and then comes over the top of the robot mode's head, you know, like a hat. And I think that's somewhat similar to this guy because he has, you know, the the, uh, the animal head folds over the top of his robot mode head like a hat. It's kind of similar to like a samba animal. Even though this guy is not a samba animal. Um, or, or, you know, he's not part of the samba gimmick. Um, anyway, carrying on, you've got a loud, chunky ratchet there. You've got a butterfly joint that can move in and out like that. The uh, arm can move in and out like that. It's got an elbow that moves to 90 degrees. No bicep swivel. The wrists do... Now, the fists and the wrists are a bit weird because basically the, the, it's just the bear paw twizzled round. He's got like a fist moulded into the underside of the bear paw, but there's no hole in the middle, you know, where you can fit a gun or an accessory. It's just it's just like a, a, a black you know, like a fist for forming a black palm. So his fists do look a bit weird as a result. He does have these pegs in the side of his um, hands, which is uh, where these things come in. But we'll look at those in a minute. So, yeah. So the arm, it's got there. It's got there. It's got a little bit of up and down bend on there as well. So, you know, you, know, you can give it a little bit of a... a a bit of a, a tilt there. Moving down, nothing at the waist, totally solid. Now, the hips are kind of restricted. Now, because of the way this guy is designed, you can see he's got these massive shins and very short thighs. Now, this is something that is common on uh, Tobot design figures, not so much on Carbots. But, um, yeah, because of the way this guy, the engineering on this guy works, he's got, you know, short fins, uh, short thighs, long shins, and it does restrict the posability. Now, the knee does kind of bend to just shy of 90 degrees, but because of this panel here out the back, the leg can go forwards, but it can't. It can it can, it can hardly go backwards any really. That's about as far back as it goes. Um, it's got five swivels. That's, no, hello, cardboard figures have five swivels um, um, on the feet. Um, you can move the feet in and out on the transformation joints. Actually, I think you're supposed to fold them forward like that. And uh, yeah, so yeah, it's the um, the the chunk and the, the 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 bear kibble does work against him in these articulation modes. So he's, he's a tad disappointing in that respect. Looks pretty cool though. I mean, he's got some nice painted detail and, and nice design on the chest. He's got all this uh, silver and gold. The uh, carbot sigil there. Got a gold waist. He's got some bits of black. And uh, he's he's not not a bad looking figure though. I do think it would have been nice if the, if the bear would would was less encompassing around the robot mode. If you know what I mean, the bear kibble. Uh, I wish I wish it showed more robot and less bear in robot mode. But that's just my own personal. Thing now, the um, the accessories you got these gold claws, and like I said, in the side of his hand, he's got like a black port, so you can plug the claws into there. So he's got you know like Wolverine claws. Now you can. Because of the unusual joints, the angled sort of swivel joints on the the, the hands or the, or the the bare paws, it uh, gives you some unusual sort of uh, you know sort of posing options with these claws when you're using them. So it's not great. I mean, it's a shame they didn't. You know, you couldn't plug them actually into the palm. But again, um, so you plug them in there, and they. They sort of they sort of twizzle round at a funny angle. Um, unusual, very unusual. Um, yes. <laughs> so yeah, it does that. It gives him some, some uh, sort of melee weapons that he can slash away at things. And I'm sure in the episode in the show where he he and uh, Eagle Hider um, debut. Uh, he uses his claws, but I can't remember because I haven't really been watching the uh, latest episodes of the shows that much. But 
I thought I'd get him because, uh, like I said, I wanted to get all the figures from the uh, you know season eleven or the Hello Carbot Samba line, and they did these two animal Carbots, and I wanted to to get in on them. The other thing, um, as I mentioned with um, with Eagle Hider, Eagle Hider, the fact that Eagle Hider came out, and then you've got you know Kingdom Air Razor. Now, if you remember in the uh, when they did that 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 picture with all those characters on. With um, you know that massive great battle scene for Kingdom, and in the bottom, you know the the bottom you know, uh, right hand corner you had Polar Claw was was there, and it's it's kind of strange that Hello Carbot should bring out a, a polar bear form, <laughs> and uh, Kingdom you know they they it was just a tease for Polar Claw they weren't actually going to make him there was a couple of other figures on that uh, that massive great battle scene that haven't get main like like Deluxe Gears they haven't done the Deluxe Gears. And it's kind of uh, disappointing that they never actually made all the figures that they was going to make. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so we've now got Hello Carbot um, analogue for Polar Claw. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he's he's all right. He's okay. Um, um, size comparison. There he is next to Combiner Wars Megs. So, you know, he's a bit shorter than a, you know, a Pucker Leader class figure. And then, obviously, have him next to... Some of the uh, Hello Carbot Season 11 figures with uh, Night Hopper. And the subject of my last review, Mr. Red uh, Weiler. So there we go. Um, there's not much more I can say about it, really. Um, interesting figure. Nice animal mode, even if it is a complete and utter brick. Um, robot mode is kind of interesting. Quite a lot of the bear mode is smothering the robot. And uh, he, he looks kind of unusual. He's got some unusual joints. Um, articulation is somewhat hampered by the the, the, the bulk of his um, the, the kibble on the robot mode. Um, he's faintly disappointing overall. I don't hate this thing. I'm glad I got it. He's a, he's a decent figure. I don't regret buying him. But like I said, he's a little bit disappointing in certain areas because of the way he's 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 built and engineered. But um, apart from that, he's okay. Um, I would say, if I had to choose between Eagle Hider and Bear Hider, I would probably say Eagle Hider is probably the slightly better of the two. But uh, he's still not a bad figure, and I'm sure you know he'd provide lots of uh, enjoyment to a child if you was to give him this toy. But uh, anyway, that's been my review of uh, that guy, the second Korean toy review I'm doing this month. Um, got one more to go, which will be coming next week. So hopefully you've enjoyed this, and I will catch you all next time. So uh, ta-ta for now. Bye-bye.